Creature mixes, terrifying reskins, or completely unique Leviathans. The community of Subnautica has some really cool ideas when it comes to creature concepts. Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll take a look at the top 10 best fan-made creature concepts for Subnautica. Now, this list isn't in any particular order, just a collection of some of my favorites. First, we have the Flame Ray by Bartosz Slozjak. I butchered that name. This creature could perfectly fit into a tropical spin-off of Subnautica. Subnautica above 30. No, okay, I suck with names. It's 1-2 to two meters long, so about the size of a rabbit ray. It would spend most of its time swimming close to sandy seabeds and would be neutral. So as long as you don't attack it, you don't need to worry about it. Now, I really like this concept, and I like to think that if it was actually in the game, its bioluminescent membranes would be able to heat up, so if you get too close, you take damage. That would also discourage you from attacking it, of course. I mean, it's just too cute for that. Next up is the Ironback Leviathan by Zwenig. This Leviathan looks like it would be found near thermal vents and maybe absorb their heat. Why? Well, maybe it could shoot fireballs similar to the Sea Dragon or shoot boiling water at the player. I think it would be really cool and we'd have a bit more variation in Leviathans. Another fan-made Leviathan is the Astral Leviathan by the Leviathan of the Void or Meg. This Leviathan would only be a bit bigger than Reaper but still extremely dangerous. It can see extremely well in the dark environments of the ocean and has the ability to switch to thermal vision, which means, as a human, you're screwed. Its natural body glow works similar to the light of an anglerfish, drawing in curious prey for dinner. It would spawn in the blood kelp, hide in the dense parts of the bloodvine forests and surprise its prey. I absolutely love the concept and I think it looks especially creepy, probably because of those eyes. Ugh. This one is one of the oldest creature concepts I know of, and the first one I ever came across. The Native by Claverflav. This one would be a sentient species, hunting in packs and using primitive tools. Its coloring would work similar to that of many flies, so imitating a large or dangerous creature. In this case, the Reaper. What? Reapers can be scary if they want to. It's one of the few concepts of a sentient species, which is why I just had to put it on this list. Since I think Subnautica could really profit off of having some sentient species, even though they're still quite primitive. The Peel is a creature concept by Honored FB and is very aggressive, medium sized and a predator. It would dwell on the cold sea floor in dormant state, similar to stingrays, until it meets another one of its kind. Once it does, the two will align themselves sideways and interlock their tendrils, which will allow them to hunt. Once they found prey, they will unlock their tendrils, peeling apart. <laughs> Peel, get it? Yeah, I'll leave. And engulf the prey. They will then reconnect and trap the prey between them, their bodies, then excreting a highly corrosive enzyme, similar to fly traps, which starts digesting the prey. I love this concept. I say that about all of them, but I mean, it's a concept list for my favorite concepts. What do you expect? Because of the really unique hunting mechanism, which really sets it apart from normal Subnautica creatures. I mean, if you think about it, most creatures in Subnautica just bite. That's it. So this one is really special. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Only 7% of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. And if all of them were, we'd already be at over a million subscribers. Crazy, right? This next one is another Leviathan, similar to Reaper, but a million times more scary. The Silence by Honored FB, yes, again, inhabits the void and produces a sound wave, which cancels out most other sounds resulting in complete silence in its vicinity. Okay, the video would kind of suck without music though, so here you go. It doesn't have any eyes and most likely uses the silence around it to pinpoint any noise emitted by its prey. Once close enough, the silence will pierce its prey with a special bone that shoots out and pulls back whatever it caught straight into its mouth. Not only do I love the visuals on this, I find the concept of complete silence fascinating. I mean, usually games try to scare you with roars or creepy music, but complete silence other than the sounds you make is really terrifying. 
I mean, I already hate the void. And if this wasn't, I wouldn't go there at all. <laughs> Shut up, I know I get scared way too easily. Yuri Summer 7 made a concept of this creature. It doesn't have a name, so if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to put them in the comments below. I imagine this one to be extremely small, even so small you would barely notice it if it didn't light up. It would be another creature living in the void, and it would live in packs, similar to the Bloom Plankton entity in the base game. They would work as a network of sensors for ghost leviathans. If a player enters the void, these creatures light up shortly, creating a wave of light originating at the player's location and drawing in ghost leviathans. I really like this design and I think it would fit perfectly into the void. Of course, I came up with the ability, so if you guys have any other ideas, make sure to let me know. By the way, this video was decided upon by my patrons and people on my Discord server could submit concepts. We also have cool weekly events, giveaways, art competitions and more on there. So if that sounds fun to you, join with the link in the description. The People of Viathan was a meme very early on. Like, seriously, in 2017 I think is the first time I saw it. But my favorite concept is still this one, made by Chicken Lay. Real reason as to why I like it so much? I don't know. I also couldn't think of any purpose, but this is my list, so <laughs> shut up. This one was made by K's Draws and also doesn't have a name. I think it kind of looks like a whale type creature, but it might also be closer to an eel. However, I think it would be a perfect addition to the Creepbine Forest. It doesn't look dangerous to me and is actually kind of cute, so it might even be friendly. However, if you attack it, it will defend itself and run by blinding you with its light. You could of course use that to your advantage, since the area around it will always be loaded up, which allows you to find resources more easily. Maybe it could even scare off stalkers, which would be really useful. I mean, who likes stalkers? Hmm. And there's another Reaper reskin up next. The Broken Tusk by Christian2505 is absolutely terrifying. It would be around 1.5 times the size of a normal Reaper and glow in the dark. But to make up for that, since you would be able to spot it more easily, I imagine it would be faster, stronger, and maybe also able to stun you with its draw. Now luckily this is an Overwatch and we don't have a stun meta, oh, so man. I like the idea of this being like a mini boss swimming around in an important area, like the Aurora on Mountain Island, and I think it would be absolutely terrifying for everyone. Which is always nice. <laughs> but remember, Reapers just want hugs. And last but not least, All Creature Merges by Bagelbite. She's an extremely talented artist, merging multiple species from Subnautica into one. For example, this Bleeder and Stalker, uh, Cedar? Blaker? <laughs> you come up with a name. Or this Crabsnake Reaper, so, Creeper? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Crabsnake Peeper and Sea Ice Dragon. My favorites are still the Ghost Reaper, Crash Reaper and Warp Ghost though. I honestly couldn't decide on which of them to put on this list, and there are so many more. Definitely go check her out, as well as all the other talented artists on this list. Links to them are in the description. But that was my list for the best fan-made creature concepts. Did I miss any? And which of these was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, and if you really liked it, please consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a channel member. You get some really cool rewards like early access to new videos, gaming sessions with me, outtakes, and much more. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!